You pay taxes every time you fill your gas tank, but more fuel-efficient vehicles means the government takes in less money. One of the places, or one of the plans under consideration to make up for that lost revenue is taxing the miles you drive instead of a gas tax. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us how it would work. Hi, Christian. Yeah, tucked into the $1 million infrastructure bill in Congress right now is the call for a pilot program for a vehicle mileage tax. Think of it as a user fee for every time you drive. You would be taxed a certain amount for each mile. So the more you drive, the more you're taxed. Most of the money raised by the federal gas tax goes back to the states and is used to cover infrastructure projects. It's been at the same rate, though, for nearly 30 years. But a lot's changed since it was last increased in 1993. People drive more fuel efficient cars. We have more electric vehicles on the road. Um, has really led to, led to just a, a drop off in the uh, viability and um, sustainability of the gasoline tax. Because of that diminished revenue, for the last several years, Congress is putting money into the Highway Trust Fund to make ends meet. Howard says that's not feasible long term. And some states are increasing their tax rates to make up for that lost revenue, Ohio being one of them. Drivers, you'll remember the state added 10 and a half cents a gallon to its tax last year. Let's take a look at the pump. In Ohio, for every gallon of gas, you're charged 18.4 cents for the federal tax and then 38.5 cents for Ohio's tax. That's a total of nearly 57 cents a gallon. My total was 23.87 for about seven and a half gallons of gas. That means I paid $1.39 in federal tax and about $2.92 for Ohio, for a total of $4.31. The pilot program to be studied would tax you on the miles you drive, not the amount of fuel you use. Several states are already testing this out, Oregon being one of them. Our program is fully operational, which means that people are actually paying the road tax and money is being uh, sent to the state treasury from this program. Godfrey says there are around 700 people who have volunteered for the program. Drivers have a GPS device in their car that measures the miles driven. They get a credit for the fuel taxes they're paying so they don't get double billed. Under Oregon's program, which is 1.8 cents a mile, if I get 20 miles per gallon and could drive 151 miles on this gas, I would have paid $2.73 in state tax. That's the exact same amount I would have paid in gas tax. Now, for comparison, Ohio's gas tax is only two cents more than Oregon's, so they are pretty comparable. Now, keep in mind, this only calls for a pilot program that will be studied over the next five years. And if we ever do switch to a vehicle mileage tax, that would replace the current gas tax, so you would not be taxed twice. It would just be one or the other. Megan? Hmm. So if you watch a story and you're wondering how your vehicle would fare under a mileage tax system, we have a link to Oregon's tax calculator. You put in how many miles you drive in your car's fuel economy. It'll let you know how much you would pay if a similar system was in place. Again, this is only a pilot program.